Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, we have like a more serious topic. You can see that in the title and that's like a question like a lot of people are asking me before the World Finals and like especially after World Finals. And not, I can't even blame you guys because a lot of people you are seeing it. I'm gonna switch to Twitter soon like we're talking about like more deep. Saw like already some pros or like a lot of posts were retiring for different reasons. Some because like you already know there are gonna be some changes in the CL format. I can't really talk about it yet. There's some rumors and stuff. But you guys saw some pros are retiring because of that. Some other pros are taking a break from the game and some other pros are just retiring because they don't really like the game. Moving on, go to cult and stuff. We're gonna talk a bit about my future. What are my uh, plans in the future? What I'm gonna do with this channel and overall, what are my plans for 2021 for 2021? If you guys wanna support me, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to use good more. Today's video, no gameplay. Take a coffee, make your homework, watch the video. I'm gonna see you on Twitter. Let's go. So guys, right now we are on Twitter and I wanna talk about a bit here. You guys like saw, most of you guys uh, noticed already that we lost the Clash of League World Finals in the final after we were like up 2-0 against Team Kessel. They are your 2020 Clash Royale League World Champions! And I really need to say that was like hard breaking honestly it was like really really tough for myself especially because I really wanted that and the thing if you work like one year for that goal it's so tough. You guys see here, Sam did a tweet at the 6th of December. I think it was like one day after the World Finals or the same day. I don't really know. Um, continue to cite here. And um, we're going to talk about here. He just said, um, I will take a break of Clash Royale. My motivation to play the game is very low and there's no reason for me to play right now. I was thinking about the scene depending on what Superstar does for the game next year. Um, I will decide if I come back or not. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I decided to not come back. Um, it, if I decide to not come back, I just want to let you guys know that I've always been thankful for the support. So basically he said he doesn't like really, like I know Sam, we're on the same team, so basically he said he doesn't really like the game right now, he doesn't really enjoy it. I think it's like a fair point to make. There wasn't a really, really, really good update for everyone for sure. There was like Clamos 2, but Clamos 2 was kind of flop, so he didn't like, I think it was like we all felt like you really kind of need, need to separate. And I apologize like for my bad English and stuff because for me it's like really hard to tell that or like to talk about it if I'm not if it's not in German so I apologize for that. It's a pro player perspective it's always about you don't play the game necessarily because you want to play the game or because you have fun to play the game. You really need to compare it as a job for sure. You can't really compare it like with some jobs in the perspective because you just play a game. I'm so thankful. I think every gamer is thankful to do that um, because you get paid for doing that and it's like a really, really nice job compared to other jobs. But at the same time, you need to see that you still need to work for that. Even you don't like the game anymore because you started maybe um, the game to play for fun. Because you played like maybe four hours um, per day for fun. You played one week, you didn't really play because you did something else. But if you're a professional player, if you're competing in competitions, you need to play five, six, seven hours per day. For sure with breaks and stuff, but you need to play a lot to be the best player. Like I played sometimes 10 hours. I know who played a lot. So it's like about dedication and playing the game a lot. And after like having like this rough world finals and stuff and like have the break after the season, you kind of realize, hmm, do I really want to play this game in the off season? And this is like the reason because most of the people are calling it like washed in the off season. If some players are not that good anymore as it used to be, like they perform really good in one season, then they in the season you play because you have to play the competition is on but the really important thing is you need to play in the off season too and if you don't enjoy the game and you're saying okay i have holidays um normally i need to play the game to stay good because in clash Royale you need to play the game to stay good it's not like okay you don't play for like three months you're coming back and you're the best player in the world still so you still need to continue playing even off seasons and if you don't really like the game this is really really tough to do and you need to force yourself to play the game like kind of same we can talk about Trabi too because i think you guys are really interested to see like the opinion or like the we talk a bit on our i mean on my teammates and stuff so man that was like a that was like a really nice picture at the world finals man i like that was a really really nice time so 
Here you see like from Sam, it's the end of an era I really enjoyed last year with my team, which has become a second family for me. We had a great success time, a lot of fun, a lot of success. I will miss you competing as a team, but let's not forget all the great memories we have. That was like World Finals seeding tournament, that was like the Clash League, and that was World Finals 2, and I think that was like Los Angeles, like really, really great picture to be honest. And Scrabi did um, some postings too. He is like posting gracias por todo, means like thanks for everything. And yeah, this is like German. This like he's like tweeting that he tried like everything to win world finals, but he wasn't able to. So on true Instagram, I think he he said like that everything is done. The end of the final always with you, best mates that ever had. Thanks for uh, for my part on the most important part of my life. I always love you. So basically. I already like knew the start of the season and Javi is not like that dedicated anymore. That's like completely fine to do. If you're like, Javi is like a best, one of the best players in the world for like three years, like 2018, 19, 20. And at one point, you like other games more because Javi, like if you guys don't know, he's really, really good in FIFA. And I would think that maybe he goes FIFA Pro next year. Even you guys think like, man, this is maybe a joke. No, I think he's really, really good in FIFA. Like if you guys know Weekend League, I think he's getting like 28 wins, 29 wins and stuff. So this is like really, wait, we're gonna, I'm gonna look here. We're gonna cut it out, wait, I'm gonna find it out. So yeah, I was right. He's getting like, I think he got nine, 29 wins in the last Weekend League. So like really, really close to Pro. I think he already competed in the cup. So this is like the thing, as I said, if you play this, game competitive for such a long time at one point you're maybe thinking like oh i don't really need that and especially if you have like so many disappointments as he had as we have as we had as a team in general i really really understand like the decision that you don't really like the game anymore and this is like how life works for sure it's sad on one point but this is like how life works at one point you're not liking the game anymore and it's not like if you you can't really blame like clash royale for sure like Stop it. Get some For sure the updates weren't perfect, but at one point it gets stale. It doesn't really matter if it's like the game, if, even if they would do updates. At one point you maybe don't like the game anymore, you just don't want to commit anymore. And you play like other games like for more fun or you just want to study, you want to meet friends, you don't want to have this pressure anymore. There are like so many different reasons pros don't want to play anymore the game and yeah that's like how sk is going on or like how my teammates are going on. i think sergio did some tweets too thanks for changing my life sk gaming and clash Royale. but most important to my family teammates that were always there and never stop believing and thank you very much and i wish uh, nothing but the best for you see you all 2021 so as i see you right now here i think sergio is going to continue with clash Royale. this is what i think at least like, like no inside information for you guys but if he says that so i really hope that but as you see, Ravi is not gonna competing anymore in 2021. Sergio, I think so. And, um, Sam is like looking how the game is gonna develop. If the update is gonna be good, the next one, or if he enjoys the game anymore. And yes, most of you guys are gonna ask, like, yeah, Mod, what's now about you? You wanna talk about yourself? Click beta. Because I did a tweet on that, like I can search it easy. So guys, here's the tweet. This is like the tweet which I did few hours after the world final so really really emotional tweet so at this point i was really really down and if you guys ask me did you ever think about retiring from clash royale yes yes that's like i i think i didn't tell anyone that already so you guys are the first one if i would have won the clash royale League world finals i would have most likely thought about retiring because you know the format is gonna change next season. We don't know how, but this was the goal I worked for. And I put so money, um, so much money in it. I put so much like stuff in that. So I invested so much. Like it, it makes me a bit sad. Like still, I apologize for that guys. Um, like I trained like my full year off. I started the first day after we lost the World Finals 2019. I got search like a one HP game. The full year, I never did a break. Didn't matter if it was Christmas, birthday, nothing. I always practice and I always want to be there. And then it's like, yeah, it's my luck, heartbreaking and stuff. So I thought about it, yes, maybe I would have retired or like not retired as a YouTube stuff. So this is like another point. I'm gonna continue normally with my YouTube videos. Daily videos, daily content. So for you, nothing is gonna change. For sure next season, we need to see like, how is the season gonna go? How is it working, everything and stuff. So, but normally my plan is doing this content because 
I love that. I love doing content. It makes me it makes me so much fun. I hope you guys see like a positivity. I still love this game. And yeah, but we're gonna go over the tweet here. I see a lot of people asking me if I'm gonna retire or telling me that I will never win a world side. Yeah, that was like a kinda yeah, like still like people which are telling me, Martin, why are you still playing this game? You can't win worlds. You joked two times um in the most important moment you can win every game but if it's like about something you're gonna lose so that was like this made me kind of sad because normally i'm not a guy which really cares about hate posts honestly i'm really really i would say confident in myself and i don't really let people like attack myself so that was like the first time in like two years or something I really felt like kind of sad about that. If you would know me, you should also know that I will never give up. That's like a really important no. It's like a lot of people always asking me, like even in my German streams, because if you guys know, after we lost the World Finals, like a 12 hour season end stream, and they always ask me, how are you doing it? Why are you not giving up? Like if I would be in this situation, I would be so sad. And I don't really know how I would have dealt with that. And I don't know, man, for me, there's no point in giving up and I will I will tell you that I will play competitive Clash Royale in 2021 I will still continue playing this game and I will never give up like my goal is to win this world championship title and I won't stop before I get it if I play this game with 50 years old the thing for me is I will always continue playing this game if I still have like the, the trust in myself you can do it if I feel washed or like I'm telling myself man i really need to force myself playing this game i don't have fun anymore i don't like the game anymore and then i will stop then i will stop but i still trust myself and i still think in my abilities that i can win worlds or like i can still perform at the highest level this is what i was about and this is why i'm still continue doing it in 2021 doesn't matter if the format changes i still I'm gonna compete there and I'm still gonna be there for not like being there in the top 10. I wanna win. I'm just there to win because this is like my thing. A lot of people are saying, yeah, Martin, you had a successful career. You got like first and rest and so many second place. You're so consistent. I don't really care about second place anymore. I just wanna win. This is like my mentality. And if I don't win, it was a failure. So, I mean, this made me like the person I am like back then. I don't know if you guys know Batman, like it's not that popular, but I was always the guy like if I don't win, I was sad and I needed to play more. I needed to practice more because if I see I'm not the best, it's like I can't deal with that. So like <laughs> um, I trust myself and I know that I'm capable of winning this for sure. It's really hard for myself right now because I dedicate everything into CRC. As I said already, practice the full year for that. And then in the most important moment, I failed. I'm still happy with my performance overall for one and one one sets. It's like the fall season and with the spring season was like way better overall. 9-3 in King of the Hill and 12-2 in 2v2 set. Thanks to my teammates for all the support during the season and thanks to Supercell to make this possible. See you on next year. So, because like a lot of people didn't really see the post um, and like even with the post, some people are like always ask me, yo Martin, what's going on with you? What's going on with SK and stuff? And yeah, the announcement, like I posted another tweet. By the way, make sure to follow me on Twitter if you wanna stay updated. I posted this like at 8th December, like I signed a contract for a team. So you guys will see which team it is. I'm not gonna spoil anything. Our announcement is gonna be there soon. I hope so at least, so stay tuned. I'm gonna continue Clash Royale League in 2021. Doesn't really matter what the format is. I wanna win that and I'm gonna give everything to that. At the same time, I want to focus more on content. I want to improve my content. I will try my best to entertain you guys, give you the best deck creations and decks in general. And yeah, really, really happy. Thank you so much once again for all the support. Thank you so much like for all the nice words after the world fights. Even the hater, you guys motivate me. If you hate me, if you say like, yeah, room is bad and you, you're probably true right now, but this motivates me. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Room motivates me right now to be better than him next year and i will try my best to make the same so thank you so much for the support like really really love every one of you loved my teammates love sk and this was a great year it was a great experience and it's not gonna end yet i'm gonna be there in 2021 so if you guys hate me i'm still gonna know you there thank you so much for the support don't forget to use code the shop don't forget to subscribe to your channel i'm gonna be there tomorrow with another deck episode goodbye thanks for watching peace out